It's time for our top plays of the week. And if you're a fan of basketball, this list is for you. We had some outstanding plays on the hardwood this week and some moments that, quite frankly, I don't think anybody is ever going to forget. They were just that good. So let's tip things off with number five. Surrey's Will Mayo dominating in the paint. This rebound and putback gives him his 1,000th career point. That's an outstanding accomplishment for the senior from Surrey. Got to love the love that he was getting there from the fans that night and the respect he got from his teammates and opponents. Pretty cool to see. Number four, South Prairie Max in a tight one against our Redeemers. Knights with a chance to tie the game, but the freshman Scotty Beck comes up with the block on the potential game-tying shot. Talk about coming up clutch. The Royals, the queens of the court that night as they hang on for the win. Number three, Hart River Girls taking on New England. Tied with .6 seconds left, so they call on the eighth grader, Hadley Talkington. Talk to him, beating the buzzer for the game winner. The Cougars with a huge win for their program. They were fired up for that win on the road, and rightfully so. Number two, Williston Boys trailing Bismarck by one. On the road, five seconds left. First shot, no good. Second shot, no, but the third time is a charm. The Coyotes defeat Bismarck for the first time since 2008. That snaps a 27-game losing streak against the Demons. And my top play this week, well, if you haven't seen it before now, it's a no-brainer. Seventh grader J.J. Franks at the Bishop Ryan game Friday, nailing a half-court shot to win $10,000. He made three shots before that, a moment that J.J. definitely won't soon forget. I don't know what you're going to do as a seventh grader with $10,000. Lots I, of Xbox games. Seriously, I'd be like, oh my gosh, the power of this Pizza ball. party with J.J. Can I come? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Luke. Stay tuned. Coming up on KX News, we're taking a trip to